There's been a port here at Leith for many hundreds of years. The uh, economic drivers of the city of Edinburgh have been uh, based here in, in over historical periods. Uh, we had the whaling trades uh, and uh, more recently, uh, the focus has been on bulk commodities and and uh, renewables. Actually, to an extent, we have um, we have a tidal turbine manufacturer based in the port, uh, but uh, bulk cargoes tend to be the, the the key commodity. Well, my role in Fourth Ports uh, is to look at, look at energy and environmental issues uh, in its broadest possible sense uh, across the whole of the Fourth Ports group. And really, we felt that lighting was where we could have the biggest impact just now um, because many of our other activities, it's uh, more challenging. There are longer lead times to change. So, for example, if you buy a new crane, it has to last 40 years uh, and there's only so much that you can do to improve its efficiency. Uh, whereas with lighting, it's, it's easier to make the case to to invest to improve energy efficiency. We uh, started to look at lighting in our warehouse, uh, our warehousing and in the uh, workshops. And we decided to focus on the workshops for a variety of reasons, but partly uh, our engineers are our key experts with lighting. Uh, and so if our lighting experts can't work with the best lights that are most energy efficient, then who can? So we started in the workshops and uh, we, after a series of tests, we chose the Dialite 150 watt uh, LED fittings at uh, Duracite. So we're in the main engineering workshop in Leith here and there are a variety of activities take place in here. There's uh, mechanical works servicing equipment, there's uh, machine works, generally metal works and uh, behind me here there's the electrical bench and on this, uh, this bench we're undertaking work with a variety of uh, different coloured wires and circuit boards and so on and so the clear crisp white light with these new lamps versus the yellow light uh, of a slightly lower lux level from the previous lamps has made a significant difference. So under the, under the previous uh, uh, set of lights, quite often the, the first person in would switch the lights on and go make a cup of tea while, uh, while we waited for the lamps to warm up. And with these new lamps, it's just a flick of a switch, instant light, good crisp white light, uh, and it also means that we can switch the lights off during the day when we've got plenty of daylight. In Shed 3, which is one of our bulk stores, uh, it's one of our smaller bulk stores, we uh, went through a process of relamping it. Having built on the success of the 150 watt Dialyte uh, fittings in the workshop, we chose to go with Dialyte again for the 172 watt fittings. We constantly had issues with maintenance of light fittings due to uh, the, the surface of the diffuser burning with product dust due to the heat of the lamp. And uh, with these new lamps, which are uh, much lower in temperature, really uh, give off very little, if any, heat, uh, we don't have that issue. So that instantly gives us a maintenance saving. Previously, we were having to replace these polycarbonate uh, diffuser heads on a regular basis. And in the course of two years alone, these lamps pay for themselves just in that reduced maintenance, quite aside from the saving in electricity. Previously, we had 13 lamps in, uh, in, in this shed and we're down to eight because of the higher light output and the improved quality of the light. And that creates a 75% saving in energy. We're upgrading Shed 10 with the same solution as we had in Shed 3. Shed 10 is a lot larger than Shed 3 and uh, we, we've had a variety of lighting solutions there over the years, none of which as energy efficient or as good from a quality of light perspective as these new fittings that we're putting in. One of the key areas that we've been focusing on is our high mass lighting across all of our port estates and our lock entrances in particular were an area of focus and as of yet we haven't found an LED product or, or any energy efficiency product that has been able to give us the light output we need for the safety requirement for our high mass lighting at our lock entrances. And they're, they're lighting at uh, 30 metres or so above, uh, above, above the quayside height. However, on some of our lower masts, uh, around 15 metres or thereabouts, we've been using the LED 150 watt uh, dialyte fittings for area lighting uh, on, on these low masts. And, uh, so far it's looking good, but the installations have only just started. 
At the lock entrance, there's something called a lead-in jetty. Now, this lead-in jetty is a suspended walkway that's uh, over the fourth estuary uh, and extends for a few hundred metres beyond the lock entrance. It's a very exposed location. It's subject to uh, swell, uh, waves, wind and uh, salt corrosion. Now, the fittings that we had there had a number of uh, issues that caused us great maintenance cost. The fittings themselves could fill with water following corrosion. And when the fittings fill with water, that causes a short circuit, uh, and so the, the units end up being damaged and require replacement. We spoke to the Gupta Partnership, and we were introduced to Ideas with Energy. And Ideas with Energy had come up with this concept of a handrail lamp to illuminate walkways. The fitting that they produced, it's a very clever fitting that has uh, a lens on it that directs the light in a, in a linear strip uh, along a walkway to try and eradicate pools of light. Time will tell how they stand up to the harsh environment, but so far, and they've been there for a good chunk of the winter, it's all going well. And the really impressive thing was the installation of 200 metres of these lighting was installed in just 50 minutes. We were really taken aback by that. So all in all, when you look at this in the round, as well as the energy efficiency benefits, which are fantastic, and the maintenance savings, which are great, and always a benefit in harsh environments, particularly if you've got to work at height, there's a safety benefit too. The quality of light's better, it's easier to check the quality of our cargo, gives us a better spread of light and a better light rendition, and the feedback from our staff, that alone has made this project worthwhile.